I didn't recall that guy, he just came back for some reason. But it looks like he's still in effect. Normally that's going to bug me with permanent revolt risk, but... This, this I like. So you're going to go and fight Manchu for us. No! No! How could you? Oh, you're right. You killed me! <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Alright, let's see what happens then when I... No, because I can't support them anymore. Wow. Okay. This is... Unbearable. All right, new plan. We'll keep our troops exiled for now. We're gonna figure out how to. <laughs> Jake, I'm throwing away these notes. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. We need to recover from the wars. Uh, I'm not beyond agreeing with you, but it only gives us prestige. War exhaustion less than one. Yeah, okay. Now this is kind of good because it means those patriots are not going to uh, to fight us. It's bad, however, because it means they're going to... Actually, no, they're going to make a beeline for these provinces and keep Manchu weak. That's where Korea steps in, right? Best Korea. So it's in my interest to keep my war exhaustion as high and uh, everything as high as possible. Okay. I'm sure you'll support our independence soon. We just need to get those relations back up and on the go. And then I will declare war on Oirat. Your truce with Oirat ends in 1454. My truce ends in 1457. But the Oirat can't annex me for another 10 years. Or thereabouts. That's when I declare war. Chagatai joins in. The Uzbek won't join in, unfortunately. The Ming certainly won't. How about you, my good friend, Manchu? No, not at all. You want me dead. <sighs> but not by much. Mm, you know what? Let's see what we can do with this. So, our troops are going to stay there. We're not going to pay them, because why pay? We're going to make a minuscule amount of money per month. And we're going to wait and see what happens. I'm going to hope that I collapse to peasant rebels. It'll reset my stability to minus nothing and my war exhaustion to nothing. Don't tank my prestige though. Little we can do other than speed 5 until the truce is run out. I could break truce. It's certainly an option to break truce if Chagatai are in on it. A gift or hiring you would get me that, but the gift would be cheaper. In fact, would a gift be enough? That's that's a question. Opinion plus 20 for that. I still need another plus 3. Would one gift or two be necessary? They don't stack. I'll send them two, just to be sure. Oh, that's cruel. That's very cruel. Potentially... Some of the negatives could tick away. No, they won't tick away. Okay, we got it. Didn't want to waste 50 ducats like that. Now I can't declare war until I've got positive stability or non-negative. 
But the Oirat haven't grown any larger, and I've taken two provinces off them, so they can be annexed in one war now. The trouble is, annexing them in one war. Also, they're about to get military tech uh, better than me. It's an idea to invest in it myself. But we'll see if we can do without it. We'll get it in 59, that's when our truce expires, right? Hmm, not quite. <sighs> oh, what's this? You did get a port there, didn't you? Yeah, so unless you somehow lose that, you are... Uh, Going to take expansion ideas, which is bad news for Mongolia. Very bad news. Okay, good. The Mongol patriots, who are, oddly enough, loyal to my overlord and not me. Well, they... Hmm. What if I support them, however? Again, he just went home. Did I get discovered? Is that what it is? Now he's still got the mission to unite the tribe, so he still wants to kill me. With a bit of luck, he actually will come for me. And again, that'll free me up with a truce with him. Which I can use to fight Oirat. But that means pretty much zoom out speed 5. Note happen until then. Lazy diplomats though, can I use them? So I gained 5 base tax and I lost 4 base tax. Net gain for me, but I'm not coring those lands. I want that air dead so badly. I get the feeling that the way the Manchu war went was my own fault. If I had sieged up the war goal faster, they wouldn't have the ticking war score to take all my lands like that. Being at minus three stability is quite nice, means you can't get any lower. Got surprisingly low war exhaustion given that. I want these peasants to collapse me, but I highly doubt my overlord's going to let that happen. Actually, if he keeps fighting my rebels for me, that'll keep him weak. And then I will strike. And then Manchu's gonna strike me, but whatever. Bring it on, Manchu. I'm not scared of you. Oh, this is quite nice. A double stack that's gonna hit Manchu. Yep. <laughs> Keep on going, guys. You know where to go. All the croissants are kept over on the Manchu buffet table. Of course it. Hmm. Yeah, loyal to uh, Oirat. <sighs> Come on, Korea, look how weak they are. You know you want to fight Manchu.
To people that are confused, the Oirut is not my vassal. I am the Oirut's vassal. All I've really done is nomadically uh, migrate my way west slightly. I expected I would have had to restart several times by now. But it looks like we'll waste a few hours and have only one restart. Who's back, huh? I'm not sure if it's worth going out of my way for the loot. Well, the Uzbek are on their own. My manpower's capped out anyway. <laughs> what do you even plan to do with the Uzbek? Just take land off them? You know, whilst you're busy dealing with the Uzbek, this could be my perfect chance to strike Manchu. Still have a truce with me. And Shagatai white peace, so they no longer have a truce with you. What do you think, guys? Do we strike the Oirat? I've still got three years of freedom. And Shagatai are honor-bound to join me. Tibet would get involved, but... <laughs> Tibet... You know what I'm saying. Uh... The Oirates still have not got military tech 4. You know, if I'd focused earlier, I could have been all over it myself. Check a tie or not either. Go big or go home, Jake. That's just the kind of endorsement I need to hear. Alright, as soon as the Oirat are inside Uzbek, I'm going to make a little incision of my own. I just pray that Shagatai does not get involved in any wars right now. They shouldn't, they've still got truce. Not for much longer, though. Free war in Tibet is a bonus. Trouble is Manchu. This war is going to take longer than three years. Manchu is going to... Yes! They're loyal to me now! Great! If they keep Manchu weak, and they should, then everything will work out in my favour. Of course, 4,000 is not going to beat the Manchurian tribes. But what if they're reinforced with our homegrown troops? Uh, hold on, what's going on here? Oh, terrible. I've never wanted someone dead so much. Uh, okay, what are you doing? Are you scared of Uzbek? on now, I need you to get into Uzbek's land so you don't care about your own. I don't have much time here. Oh wow, you're getting slaughtered. Now is the time. Now is the time. What is war exhaustion? Now, I need my capital not to revolt whilst all my troops are on it, because that would be embarrassing. Now, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? You're going to run all the way to Hotan, whilst you hold Kurok Tag, preventing them from going further, allowing me to take the north. Huh. How very thoughtful of you. I'm missing out an opportunity to put my one siege general to use. 